effectively, but really most of the CT signs don't. So I'd like to see if NIP or Titan <laughs> is going to try and throw us for a loop. But now the game is live. NIP starting on the CT side, Titan on the terrorist side. So welcome to the show, everyone. I hope you're ready. Uh, it's time to begin the match, the map we've all been waiting for. Now we get to see who's going to come out on top. This is fantastic. You guys ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Uh, El Clasico. Could not be more ready. Uh, yeah, you're right, exactly. El Clasico. And look at Freiburg. He's got a diffuse kit and a grenade and everybody else on NIP. They're armored up. And Fiflaren running through the middle. This is madness. He's going to run into five people or three at least and go down. Forest here trying to land a headshot. And he is not going to get it just yet. He has to fall back. Freiburg picking off Shoxy, and that's a huge kill. Shoxy is a pistol monster, and Freiburg gets a double kill and saves NIP. Oh, big place from Freiburg. He's still standing his ground as well. They will they will get rid of him in the end, but they've taken so much damage, Titan, from the fight at mid, and now the fight at long, and Forrest is now swapped over to the CT spawn area. He's on slope in CT with Get right there to back him. Exist will flank Smith, who tried to make a play out mid doors. And now Titan, they're down a man. They're down on HP. They need to find a kill and get right. Still dancing in CT. Yeah, does take a headshot there. MBK still fighting it out. 50 seconds on the clock. Forrest is up there and he's very exposed. He's going to fall back. That's a right move, but he's going to fall right into the arms of Scream who doesn't get the kill. Get right gone down. It is back to a two on two, but there's the headshot from Forrest. Scream still alive and they're buying time. Forrest doesn't want to take this duel. He's jumping around the corner and Scream cannot catch him. Oh, and this is perfect from Forrest now. He knows, he knows. They know exactly where Scream is. They can sit here on long and wait. And with the USPS, if Scream peaks, he's going to run right past and he gets onto the site. He's going to get the plant. And now it's going to be the closing pincer movement. Forrest pushing up from long, finds the headshot. And that's two for Forrest. But Forrest played a crucial role in this pistol round. A magnificent job from him, dealing massive damage to the entire Titan lineup and yeah. then just capping it off. Definitely. With a couple headshots. Definitely Forrest and Freiburg, you know, pulling up the, the weight here. And Freiburg with two opening kills making a huge difference for the Swedish team. But I do think you're right, because once, it, you know, if this was chess, in a pistol round, Shoxy and Forrest, they would be the queen. And if, if once Shoxy goes down and they still have Forrest alive, that really does make a big difference for, uh, for both teams here. So NIP off to a nice start. A really good start. Mm. Now they just need to hold on to this. I mean, not lose, there's just an eco. And luckily for them, Titan have apparently gone completely away from doing an armor by now. I mean, they're barely, barely been investing at all in, uh, in the second round by at all. But that does make sense seeing how Scream was able to, to put down the bomb. Out in the middle, Forrest picking up people left and right. Gonna make it a triple and he's hiding up on the scaffolding. Will eventually go down to Scream, but still a good effort. Shoxy dies as well. And Scream with the P250 just uh, running away up short here. Could be found by Get Right if he peeks over this corner. But that's so far a good round for NIP. Only losing one person and they do even spot out Scream. I know exactly where he is now. Get Right taking this fight. Get Right dropped fairly low and there's the headshot mm. from Scream. This is why it's so scary to face Scream. His aim is so damn good. He's going to chase Fiflaren back into CT. He's only got a pistol. Don't run away. And he will get the frag. But that's two, ra that's two rounds now in a row for Ninjas in Pajamas. Titan, most importantly, they get two kills in that for Eco round. So I'd have to say that they're pretty pleased with the results there, despite the fact that they didn't pick up a plant. A second plant would have been great, because that would have meant full dates for everyone on the team. But still, they get two kills. So they're going to force Nip to spend some money here in this third round. Not at all bad. Third round coming up, and there is an AWP in Fiflaren, and none on Titan, so that could make a big difference. He doesn't hit the, sh hit the shot in the middle. They did spot, I think, two people jumping past then. Double grenade out on Long, not going to hit anyone. You can see MBK just kind of waiting there, guessing that they were going to go and do that, but this push from Forrest is big. If Forrest gets the information that there is nobody in Dark or on this side of the map at all, then all of a sudden NIP know pretty much everything. And look at the position right now from Piflar, and he's holding up on oh, short. Freiburg. He's going to peek out of the pit, and he's going to go down. MBK with a great opening shot, and now Get Right goes down. Existence with a kill, and this is Titan fighting back with fierce uh, oh. opposition here. Flaren is going to go down. Forrest and Exist, they just need to make a run. They can no longer fight this. Better to save the rifles. That was incredible execution from Titan. They just walked out like they owned the place, and then Shoxy chased Fiflar and all the way back to the A spot, and then casually lands a headshot. Just very clean work coming out from Titan. And they completely overwhelmed the defense. Nip just not able to hang in there. Forrest and Exist now just need to hold on to these guns. 
Not sure about Titan hunting them, but they are kind of spread out across the map right now. Just seeing, to, just waiting to see if uh, Nip are waiting for exits. I think that's the thing at this point. Yeah, and the, the kind of hold that NIP were doing that round, having one in A, one by car, and one in pit, is one that I really strongly disagree with. I would much rather have basically all of them on long, or maybe two on long and one mid. So, I don't know, Ben, what do you think about that setup from NIP? Uh, I think it's okay, given the fact that they did push in forest into upper dark. Mm -hmm. So they had no, they had really had no control over the mid area, and that's really why they had to post up at least one person towards that catwalk. Uh, the only thing I would have liked to see them do earlier is more or less have existent or exist back off from the B bomb site. As soon as forest gets in to upper dark, you exist to just instantly leave. Regain control over mid, which could allow for Fifth Lauren to maybe back off, help for, help out towards long, or Fifth Lauren stays there and exists, helps out towards long. Oh, look at this Freiburg with the opening kill for Flaring to fall back, and this time NIP, they're holding pretty much the same way, but this time they get the opening kill. That, that makes a big difference. Forrest is going to go down in the middle, though. That was Existence at the top. Freiburg is going to run into him, but Existence, the Belgian in-game leader, he's ready for it, and the bomb is going to go down the A-bomb site. Get right has to get a kill her on existence, otherwise it's not going to work out, and they will get it back to a three on three. But they get the bomb plant on A in the meantime, and they have control of short here. Titan looks like they do want to try and take a peek at this if they can. They've got two guys out at long. This is Nip just looking for the ranged fight, but Shoxy is ready. He's waiting. As soon as they show themselves, he's going to get the kills. If Lauren goes down, and so does Get Right. Shoxy cleans up long, and Scream will make short work of the push on short. Yeah, so there we have it, Titan regained control in that round and just managed to completely shut Nip down. Yeah, great double kill from Shox. He's showing us just a little bit, just the tip of the iceberg of that ridiculous skill that he has of just landing headshots at pretty much any range. That is going to be into the fifth round and now the Swedish team, they are back to pistols. So Titan and even with an AWP on Smith and there it is. He only barely picks it up and already Fiflarin is dead through that mid door. Now they're, they may go again. I mean, they've got the B stack going right now. Pure gamble gaming coming out of Nip. They're just crossing their fingers, hoping that Titan are going to run in. But that's not Titan's style. Titan are taking their time. They are just waiting to see where Nip are going to push. They know that this is going to be a round of eco out of Nip. They know that Nip could try and go for some weird plays. Instead, they, they decide to just back off because they've already got shocks. He worked all the way out onto A spot, and he hasn't seen anybody yet. Yeah, he's just casually checking everything and they're gonna know a whole lot so Titan playing it really safely and obviously this is just gonna net them the round no problem NIP best case scenario they stack up somewhere and try and get some exit kills maybe if they run in and can take down scream he's hiding here it's gonna be the one click and then he goes down to forest so that's really good if they can save this AK that'll do a lot for them later in the game and yeah now if they could actually get their hands on it he will forest Sneaks right up there, picks up the AK. That's going to be a big save if they can hold, make this work. Get right slowly inching his way forward here. They know that Shoxy is there. I mean, Exist lives with 3 HP, but he, he had to pay with a lot of health to get that information. Not going to matter in the end, though. They should be able to hang in here. Get right looking to see if he can find anybody at top mid. Is he going to get lucky? Is he going to find a shot? Nope. Nothing there. And so, Nip, they do hold on to the AK, and that, that was pretty much the goal there at the end. Uh, well played indeed, and that brings them back to enough money to be able to make the buy. And uh, AK on Forest is not at all bad. That that one shot potential makes a big difference here. That, and he even buys for somebody else. So yeah, they're spreading out the money. That's pretty interesting. Two to three is going to be the scoreline. And NIP, I mean, round wise, they're doing all right, but they need to stop Titan early on here before the terrorist side start building up a lot of money. And you know, MBK has ten thousand dollars. Well, Smith is waiting in upper dark. There is no bomb. There is no smoke quite yet. Smith finds the running shot onto Exist. He's going to take another one. He can't quite get it. There's still Forrest alive on that B slide, but they're going for the three to B, and they are going to get out here. Forrest gets caught in the corner. Existence goes for the spray, but Shoxy will get the kill, and once again, Titan are in control of a bomb site. Yeah, and this time it's the B bomb site, and that's hugely significant because it was the A site. A three on four retake is definitely possible for the B bomb site. It's nearly it's not going to happen. I mean, we see them getting completely smashed as they go in through the door in the window. Fuflaren going to try and make a run for it, but Shoxy will not even let him. Triple kill here for the French player. And well, he's slowly, oh, he's quickly regaining uh, control of this map here. Forrest with seven kills, Shoxy with six. It's dangerously close and exist buying a glass cannon AWP. That is interesting. Whoa. Yeah, that was probably the last guy I'd, I'd expect to see an hop coming out of.
Yeah. Well, right. he's the guy that Forrest bought for because... Yeah, this is the thing. I wonder if they had this planned. He's pushing up the middle and he's not going to get the shot. And worse still, the, for the AWP is lost in there. Forrest is going to go and try and see if he can find it in the smoke. And he does pick it up. Is he going to get existence? They're going to shoot through. Excellent play coming out here from existence. And Freiburg does get the one dig in, but it's not quite enough. No, but now it's just like, it's the up. It just keeps changing hands. But Florida is going to go for a shot now and Smith will get the punish. That's two kills now for Smith. Now it's Getright's turn. Getright getting sprayed through the box. No kill for him. Only one will be bought there. And now, well, that, the gambit just doesn't pay off. Exist, he goes for the op. He's going to get a FAMAS this round. And Fiflarn will get another op on his side. But Nip, you know, they go for a bit of the gamble play. They want to see if they can get anything done with it. And it just does not pay off. No, I thought it was an extremely wasteful buy. I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, you can go for the the gamble by actually banging it up, why on earth would you ran? Like, why would, what do you benefit from running through a smoke like that into mid? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, once the smoke is up, they could have just slowed it down and went somewhere else, and still the AWP could have been effective. So I think you might be right. A little bit too much pressure on that kind of move. Now, if you flare in, they duck under the crosshairs, and they walk up right in his side. He's not going to get anything done, and there are two AWPs now on the terrorist side. So with Titan, they have a lot of money, and they're putting it to good use here. Freiburg going to go down. The, B the A bomb side is once again lost, and they should run away. I don't see them retaking this. Not three on five. Get right in the smoke. He's really trying to get up here close. He, I think they spotted him. I think Shakti saw him in existence. Will pick off the kill. CT slope not happening. Forrest now going to get caught by existence. Existence on a tear this round. He's got three frags. He's looking for more, but exist will finally put an end to him. And it's going to be Shoxy who calmly clicks away exist. Stuck in the CT pit. Nowhere to go. And yet again, another near perfect round for Titan. Only losing one man. Six <laughs> to two is... A really good start, and the money for Titan is the really important thing here. 15,000 on Shoxy and NBK, but um, there's still plenty of time for NIP to fight their way back. But they do need to start winning some rounds here, otherwise it's going to be a little bit tricky. So they're going to be ecoing this time, and next time I would love to see them go for either an auto sniper or a double op setup. That would be cool. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's nice. And yeah, okay. Well, it's just kind of a slaughter everywhere at that yeah, point. Yeah, well, it's just an eco round for an IP. With the kill at Freiburg. It's just an eco round for an IP, so not too much trouble here. They just invested a little bit into it. So Titan should be able to pick up these kills without much issue. And uh, so far, they've only lost MBK. Fu Flaren, he's being hunted down. They're not even really worried about putting down the bomb. They just want to kill him. And you can kind of understand why. 7 to 2. A lot of speed on this game so far. Shoxi with 11, 2, and 2. He's really pulling away from the rest of the pack here. There's the one op, there's the other op, and that's what we wanted. Through Flaren and Forest picking it up. And get right, is he going to buy an auto sniper just for the kill of it? No, he's going he's gonna to stick with the M4. No, we need to see some big plays out of Nip now at this point. So seeing the double op set up, using that money that they've managed to get after that round of eco, and actually losing quite a few rounds in a row now at this point. Now is the time for them to turn the tide. Get right needs to get on the board as well. He's only got one frag so far in this half. Oh, and they lined it up, and Existence and Smith, they're going to get picked. Oh, the Freiburg and Gerard are going to get picked off by Existence and Smith. They just lined up in the middle, and a grenade taking down Exist. What on earth is going on? NIP, they need to stand their ground. Fiflaren misses the no-scope, and Scream is going to take him down. It's going to be one on four here for Forrest. Oh, and he gets caught at the cross as well. Good flash. He's going to open things up. And Scream is on the hunt now at this point. He's going to go for the shot, and Forrest is going to get caught by Scream this time. And... How many rounds of that is that in a row now where Titan have only lost one man? That Shoxy the one to win the lottery that time. I think it's at least four rounds. Yeah, this is... I, I want to say four rounds. Like, this is just dominance. Like, Titan are a friggin' 18-wheeler of justice while Nip are, <laughs> like, your Hot Wheels toy. And oh, God. Yeah, like, it's not pretty right now. It and, you know, it's, it's not like Nip are doing anything fundamentally wrong either. It's just Titan are just killing stuff everywhere are you calling nip roadkill is that is that what it's down to vendetta well, I, I, as of right now they're roadkill yeah compared to titan all right it's pretty brutal i mean this way, one thing we can say is that the round i mean the half isn't over this is a t-side oh, yeah. titan have got eight rounds nip, nip are definitely not out of this they still have plenty of opportunities to make it happen this oh, yeah. round is going to be tough though they've only got 
I mean, they've only really got big firepower on three of their members. Two of them are rocking from us, so they have to land some fantastic shots. But it's the double up setup mm. on Titan right now. All right, so look, this kind of setup is what I wanted from NIP. If you fly in here, I think I'd much rather have him down here on long instead of up in the bomb site because now he can take shots but still be relatively safe. And then they have the cover down from A long. I think this is a good setup for NIP. If you fly in, doesn't get the shot and shocks, he will take him down. Yeah. Great flash coming in there. And that's going to be Gerard and Freiburg now down here. They just need to hold. They got to wait for backup. A return kill would be really nice right now, but the bomb is going to go down and Titan. Have they planned it for short? They should have, and they have indeed. Smith is just like, peek it long, peek it pit again, peek it, pick it again, I dare you. And that's what happens. Now Getright has picked up an AWP, however, so he's going to be able to hold on to this. They need to make this play. CT slope is where it's going to happen. Shoxi, double kill for him, three in the round. And yeah. this is what we were worried about going into this game. Shoxi's 14-3-3, and Smith's 11-1-3. They can't handle them right now. Nip are just, they're struggling so hard. I but it can't really fault them. I think any team would struggle against a Titan team playing like this. I mean, what can you really do to stop uh, Smith's on Dusty and Shoxi on form? Uh, it's not a lot, I think, is the answer. MBK has so much money that even though we're only in the 12th round, he's still buying an auto sniper just as kind of a throwaway weapon, I think. Is he going to keep it, in fact? No, he's still got an AK <laughs> here. So he just has the money to throw that away, and why not use it? I mean... NIP, on the other hand, they're back to four for Masters and one Max 7. Not really the ideal equipment to deal with the, well, with the 18-wheeler of justice that's sort of barreling down on them. It's going to be tough, right? It's like they've got fly swatters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe a, co a coordinated swat from all five of them could do it. I mean, hell, if anybody could do it, Nip could. But they, they need to make it happen now. They're running out of time. Oh, get right going for the jumping shot, which is always fun to see. The Max 7, it could do that. But now they're ready. He's going to jump again. He does get some damage onto Existence, but not the kill yet. And there's Scream hitting Existence in the face with an AK-47 bullet. So, not fun at all. If you're flaring up here and Goose waiting, get right. Is he going to get the right timing? He's listening. He spots one. Fiflaren is going to get the information. And Shoxi is going to go down and even delivers the bomb right to the doorstop of Fiflaren. So now NIP have a real opportunity here. They just need to stay safe. Oh, and good call there. They managed to get, they figure out where Existence was hiding, but now Scream has joined the fray. He's already got one. This is a three on three, and now it's just Scream rolling in. Another kill. Scream is unstoppable. NBK gets the And NBK gets the final two. Three for Scream, two for NBK. They split it up. And Titan have got 10 rounds now, despite the fact that Nip were all sitting on that site, waiting, desperately yeah. trying to hold. It but wasn't enough. What went wrong? And you saw Get Right. He was standing on the A bomb side. He was running down towards Long. And the reason he did that is not because he's suicidal. It's because he realized if one guy from Titan shows up down on Long, we're going to be trapped. We're going to die. So he had to try and go for it. Unfortunately, he got picked off. And then NBK showed up on Long. And it was all over. 10 to 2. And we're into the 13th round here. For Masters all around for the Swedish team. They got to make a stand here. Grenade on Get Right. Going to put him down to 59. But it's kind of now or never. They need to win a lot of rounds in a row here. And there's Forrest with the opening kill. Up in the eight bomb site for Flaren is really close. And Freiburg is here. They got the right pick here. Now they just need to get the kills. Smith taking down Forrest one for one so far. And well, they're just going to keep trading. Oh man, they know. They know what's happening. Shoxi continues with the beatdown. And now it's just Exist. Last man alive. He was holding out on the B site. But the bomb is at A. Existence will get the plant. And this is just... Titan, I mean, the pain train is rolling. Choo choo. And yeah, not at all a fun situation here. One on two, Exist is just trying to run up here, but he doesn't have a kit, so even if he gets the kill, it's going to be nearly impossible for him to defuse. Shoxi right around this corner has already got a double, and Exist isn't even going to check it. Oh no! Execution coming in. Shoxi with a triple kill, and now we're going to be at 11 to 2. Shoxi with a stunning 17 kills in just 13 rounds. And now the first half is drawing to a close, and this is just ugly at this point. Look at all the rifles being bought. That's what? Two auto snipers, two AWPs. NBK, is he going to pick up an op as well? I think he is. So it's going to be all sniper action down the middle. I, I'm going to take like a third person here. I'm going to see if NIP is going to get picked up as they try and run past here. A little bit of damage, a lot of damage to exist as well. And well, that's the only damage they're going to get. But still, I mean, Titan don't care. They have so much money, they could go for this. For them, it's the last round. I mean, well, it's not even the last round. It's the round before last. Scream is going to get picked, and there is Exist stepping into it. Forest and Exist both picking up frags. 
And this is how Nip have to turn things around. They have to punish Titan for the insolence of going for that kind of scoped play. Yeah, it'd be nice if they can do that. Forest down to 14 from a great grenade. Smith's taking a little bit of damage in return, but it's going to be all right. It's still back to a three on five here. And NIP, if they can't win a three on five, then things are starting to look really bad. I mean, they're already bad, but this is, this is spiraling out of control. And the scary thing is, you know, that that's the scary thing. I mean, <laughs> two two people with really low HP covering the B bomb site. This could easily go south for for NIP. Uh, Get right is here to support, however, mm. but and that's existence fanning a headshot on Smith. He's removed from the picture, but NBK will return. And now Get right still waiting patiently. Yeah, so Fiflaren, that perfect look, flash. Look at Fiflaren. He's running for the T spawn, and just there's just nothing but rifles on the ground. He's like, how rich are these Frenchmen? And he's gonna pick up one of the auto snipers and run to the B bomb site. Existence almost dropped through the smoke. And the time is ticking against Titan here. 25 seconds. Freiburg going to run in. No, he's going to wait. They really are scared right now. NBK and Existence still left. And the bomb is down. There's Existence with the one pick off. Can they do a little bit more? NBK, Freiburg is only gets the one pick. And he goes down. NBK with the triple kill. And Titan, they win that round in spite of all the odds. And at this point, you got to say, this what? is just NIP mind gaming themselves. Uh, I don't even know. I mean... I Titan are just looking so solid. I mean, I I mean on a normal day, now NIP win a five on three against Titan in that situation, especially because they know where the bomb site is going to be. I think they're just yeah, completely shell shocked. Yeah, it's, nothing's normal about this. It's mm -hmm. against any other team in the world that do it. But you know what I think is happening is that throughout this past year, the tables have turned. No, it it's not be, like that. It used to be Titan with the block going up against Nip. I, now it's Nip with the block. I can't see. I can't subscribe to that. They did beat the Dreamhack Winter and many yeah. other games since. So no, 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 no. That's definitely not true. But in this game, they've lost you know twelve rounds in a row, and that does do something to your you know your morale. Basically, get right, gonna pick up two kills here. But even if they finish this 12-3, that's just not gonna be enough. I think. I think NIP are just shell shocked in this game completely. And it was, that was six months ago. Anything is possible. In that, they've won games since. Yeah, I'm, I yeah, definitely yeah. don't I, agree. I, not even, not even close. Oh, I think it, it, you know. At this point, it's like any, any team is going to struggle in this kind of situation. Titan are just showing such dominance that I mean, hell, any team would struggle against this. There's no getting around it. They, this is. It's not just because it's Nip. I mean, any team. How how do you deal with this kind of pressure? It's definitely not easy. Titan, they are very good on this map. NIP knew this already, but I don't think they were expecting this, especially winning the pistol round. I think they were looking for a lot more than two rounds. Triple kill from Get Right, and is he going to finish off with an ace? That would be a really cool thing to, to do, but he's up against Smiths, and it's going to end there. The AWP really good from that distance, and that's going to be 13 to 2 for Titan. Well, and that's going to be the game crashing, so we'll connect right back in. Do not panic yet, guys. Do not panic. What a sick Every game. Time. Yeah. Well, at this tempo, the game might be done. Well, uh, you know, before we get in. <laughs> well, I don't think. They're going to be restarting and uh, we'll be into the pistol round really soon. Obviously, uh, there's no denying there's a big lead for Titan. They've been playing extremely well. I mean, early on, it was kind of close between the two teams. But then around six or seven rounds in, it's like Titan just decided actually... We're just going to win outright. And uh, we're still we're in the game, but it's not live yet, guys. Do not panic. We're still waiting for the pistol round. Yeah, 13-2. I mean, there's no getting around it. There's no beating around the bush in this sort of situation. It's basically nip, win the pistol round, or, or they're doomed. Yeah. That is it. They have no choice at this point. Freiburg showing that he can use an auto-sniper too. So, there is that. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what really what they need to do NIP at this point. Especially because Titan are, you know, they're not exactly known for being bad on the CT side of Dust 2 either. So even if NIP win the pistol round, then they still need to win the fourth round. They still need to win the sixth round. I mean, there is such a long way to go that it's going to be, I don't know. You need, you need Get Right and you need Forrest to step it up and just go complete beast mode. And go that... Ahead. Oh, okay, go ahead. I was just going to say, that doesn't happen from just one round to the other. It's it's a slow build-up before you start really getting into the zone. And right yeah. now, they're, they're pretty damn far away from that zone. No getting around it. But Guardian, you know, what's up? He's in the chat right now. Guardian, fantastic play tonight. But, uh, yeah, he called 16-5. And he's kind of, like, goading the chat right now. So, oh, you know, was I far off, guys? Huh? Huh? 
So I'm just looking pretty we'll accurate. I mean, now it's up to Nip. It's in Nip's hands to prove Guardian wrong. Can they get six rounds? Well, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. The second half here: Titan versus NIP in the ESCA Invite League, and you're on Nip TV. I'm Anders. With me is Vendetta and Semler, and we've got Titan with a pretty massive lead here. If they win this pistol round, they're probably just going to shut NIP right out of the game. And NIP, they go for a pretty slow round here in the second half, and I can't really blame them. Uh, and they go for the play again with the pistols. Yeah. So this is becoming a this is becoming a hallmark for Nip. This is their go-to play, and there's Freiburg putting it to use. He's got that P250. Freiburg and Fiflar and both getting kills. In fact, and now Nip, pretty big advantage going into this. Freiburg takes a peek at Fedoras, but shots get a decent headshot. Scream comes back with a headshot on Gap. Right? This is falling apart. Fiflar and he says caught it mid. Scream gets another one. 1v3 now for Fiflar. Oh no, and it's gonna be almost impossible for him to do this. He's gonna jump over the ledge there, but what could he really do? Shoxy will finish it off triple for him. And well, it's a pistol round, it's Shoxy. Him and Forrest, they're the two best players in the world right now with those pistols, so that's all it comes down to. 14 to 2. And I'm just ready and waiting for the GGs to be called in the chat because what could they really do? Forrest has picked up a Galil, and IP know just as well as we do that this it's now or never. It really is, and no yeah, I, I don't see anything stopping this Titan train. I, they're just looking so, so strong. They didn't pull off or anything. Freiburg with the one dig onto Shoxy, and he's going to go for more as well. He's standing his ground, taking the fight with Scream. He can't get a frag, but still, Exist is here to pick up the slack. Exist looking for the shot at range. He's still here. Scream dancing back and forth. The fans just beating the business, and they're still here. Scream finally gets the kill. That is very interesting. That was a battle that was probably way longer than it should have been. But um, while well, Scream does come out on top, and the rest of NIP back to just pistols. So it's going to be match and map point here for Titan. Really, almost no way that's going to change. They're just locked in. This is a brutal beatdown. Not often you see NIP treated this way by, by any team, but... Titan, they came prepared. They just had a victory against Virtus Pro, and maybe that fired them up to to go and wreak havoc onto the Swedes as well. That screen with a triple, double for Smiths, and well, it still takes some time before anyone's going to catch up to Shoxy, but it can still happen. 15 to 2 here, and uh, is it going to finish 16 2? Is that really going to happen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, get right. He has to go for a Galil with no Kevlar. The rest of his team, I mean, it's pistols. They've got three Deagles, Kevlar, helmets, and two HEs. Oh. So, kind of nice. leads me to believe that Nip are, are really looking, are really stretching here. Exist, we'll find a shot on Smith, though, so that's a fine start there. That's the first step in this round for Nip to make the comeback. It's a nice start at least, but then Forrest goes and challenges Scream, and it's going to come up short. Not really the best range either for a pistol, but still, you know, they, they got to try something, and they... They know just as much as we do that this is probably not going to work out for them. Existence here, MBK down to the pit. If they can pick up Existence, maybe they can get a bomb plant. But in the meantime, Shoxy's kind of shown up here. And there he's going to flash his way in as well. Looking for that headshot. And he's going to get it on Exist. In spite of the fact that he's down to 12 HP, he still managed to find a kill. Oh, that's it. They're out. They're making this play. Three remaining members here for Nip. And they're making the play for A. Good flash sets up Existence. It's a quick one for one. And they bring it back to a two on two. Nip with some good kills coming in from Fifth Lauren and Freiburg. Scream and NBK, the last two members alive here in Fifth Lauren. Just barely gets around the box to get the plant. And NBK drops dangerously low. This is feasible here for Nip. They're not out of this yet. Fifth Lauren and Freiburg up in the bomb site. They do have the bomb planted at the very least. But Scream is going to take a headshot now. It's all on Fifth Lauren. One on two here. And this is NIP's life on the line, and it will not happen. MBK takes him down, and there's the 16-2. So, congratulations to Titan. Impressive play. And, well, NIP will be looking for them in the next game. Well, not tonight, though. Tonight, we have nothing more to